Also tonight at 7, getting new details about the death of Ivana Trump, the ex-wife of former President Donald Trump. We're told she was found dead in her Upper East Side home. And News Force Ida Siegel is there live with the latest force at this hour. Ida. Uh, that's right, Natalie. We're just across the street from her townhome here on East 64th Street. Take a look. Uh, law enforcement sources, Natalie, are telling us that she was found inside her home on the staircase, which may indicate she fell down the stairs, but they're not clear on that just yet. Investigators do not believe foul play was involved, but ultimately the medical examiner will determine the cause of death. Ivana Trump was well known here in New York. Of course, she was former President Donald Trump's first wife. They were married for 15 years and known as a power couple, often hitting the tabloids. They share Trump's three oldest children, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Eric Trump and his wife were seen outside Ivana's residence not too long ago. Eric made a very Any brief statement. Take a listen. Any statements to make? It's been a very sad day, guys. Very sad day. She was always extremely friendly. God rest her soul. I don't know. Makes me Donald Trump released a statement today on his social media platform saying that Ivana was a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. Her pride and joy were her three children. She was so proud of them as, we're, as we were all so proud of her. Rest in peace, Ivana. And the Trump family also released a statement saying in part that she was an incredible woman, a force in business, a world-class athlete, a radiant beauty, and a caring mother and friend. Neighbors here on the Upper East Side tell me that Ivana was kind and friendly to them. They say she seemed to be moving a little bit slower lately, but still was always dressed impeccably. Ivana Trump was born in communist Czechoslovakia. She was 73 years old. Reporting live outside her townhouse on East 64th Street, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.